So next thing we're going to do, um, this is the upper body evasion series. So she holds the pads up, right? I throw the jab, she returns the jab, and then a slip. I throw the cross, she returns the cross, I slip. I throw the jab, cross, I'm going to slip, bob and weave, come back, hook, cross, hook, cross. Oh, so I'm going to bob and weave, shoulder roll, cross, hook, cross. I'm going to slip, bob and weave, bob and weave, and jab out as I circle it. Right? I know that's a lot, so if you don't remember it, you just go this far. <laughs> Again, she holds the pads first, right? So I jab, I slip, I cross, I slip, I jab, cross, I slip, I bob and weave. Just take it from there. Okay, that's okay. If you want me to add the rest in, then add the rest in. And also do it in both leads. So I jab, I slip, I cross, I slip, I jab, cross, I, I slip, I bob and weave, I hook, cross, I bob and weave, I shoulder roll, I cross, hook, cross, I slip, bob and weave, bob and weave, and jab out. Okay, circle jab out. Just to get the upper body moving. It's one of the skills that I'm really poor at. Right there. I believe Scott, no. <laughs> it's because I tend to just square off and, and, and take the hit. I just get stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're done, well, well. <laughs> that tends to be my sparring style, but it's not the most intelligent sparring style. And as I'm getting older, it's not when I can get away with as much things when I was younger. But uh, so, we need to see it again. Are we good? My feeders don't overcompensate and don't yeah. miss. And then when you slip, don't slip back. Try to slip forward, right? So it shows the cross, right? I don't want to slip back this way. I slip forward into it, right? So bring it, whatever shoulder, like she's doing the jab and I'm slipping, uh, I'm moving my lead shoulder forward. When I slip across, I move my rear shoulder forward, okay? Bob and weave, when you bob and weave, keep your eyes up, okay? Keep your eyes up and come in, okay? And once again, it's the same kind of thing. My shoulder comes forward then move in and then I come back out, okay? So the bob and weave, you move in. Things to watch out for, it's not in Sabat, you don't have to worry, but uh, from Thai boxing or, or karate or street fighting is the knee. So when I bob and weave, right, I keep, I keep my hands here in case the knee is coming up, right? So that you don't have to worry about the knee, it's not going to happen. But uh, it's a good thing to be aware of, right? That's, um, is that, yeah, okay, we're good? All right, let's go. Other side, right? So as a feeder, I just hold, she jabs, I jab. So avoid this, don't trace the back. Yes. Okay. She hits, I hit. She hits, I hit. She hits, I hit. Okay. Cross, hook, cross, slip, bottom and weave, bottom and weave, and jab out. Yeah, she's doing that. I cross her. That's okay. <laughs> Change your stance as you do that. As you do the last step, so you. Give me a cross so you slip, you bob and weave. As you do the last bob and weave, you maintain your stance as you circle. Okay. All right. Give it a go. Thank you.